about to wipe away all memory of that Rumble fiasco. The dangerous thing about this match is that Ray Kendrick has his sights set on this kid for embarrassing him, and he's going to make him pay for it tonight. Ray Kendrick absolutely just said we were going to wipe away all memory of that Rumble embarrassment. Oh boy, this is a this this is a mismatch physically. Andreas has beaten bigger men than him in his short career. Oh God, he avoids him. Andreas is gonna have to stick and move. Matt Houston, he's gonna have to make everything that he does count here. Ducks the line. Oh, Andreas. Oh boy, he got caught. And the assassin is going to make him pay right literally here. just stepping on his face here. Oh, God. Kandrak is toying with this kid. Boy, the assassin is scary. And as you said, Matt Houston, he was embarrassed at the rumble. Andreas is giving him some shots here. He's firing. Body. No, that's not going to work. Oh, God. He's got him by the goozle. Nice knowing you, kid. Uh, hard against the canvas. The assassin is standing tall. He's living up to his name tonight. This kid scored the moment of a lifetime at the Rumble. His life may be over right now. Oh, Ray Gun turned him inside out. And this kid is done. Bloodthirsty crowd here at Fallout Yes, they tonight. are. Yes, very much so. And they want one more. They must not like you very much. Oh, God. This kid is already weakened and out cold. You know, the... the, the, the oh! The premise of a wrestling match is to pin your opponent or make him submit. This kid's out. No, this kid's out. Oh, God, headbutt! Ray is just trying to humiliate this kid. He's trying to end his career. This kid is out. This kid is out, and I think Katie Kincaid just called it. Katie Kincaid just called it by referee stoppage. Kandrak has won this thing. Good Lord. One minute, 55 seconds. Your winner is by knockout. The assassin, Ray Kandrak. Kandrak has just destroyed the most recent graduate of the Mid-Atlantic Dojo. Is there anybody that can stand up to Kandrak? We're two weeks away from the All-Stars against the Dynasty, four on four, and Kandrak is standing tall here. This kid is comatose at ringside. Good Lord. Yeah, that kid's out. The trainees are coming to the ring. Kandrak, very, very Kandrak tentative. is going to attack the train. Would you be tentative? Yeah, I'd be tentative. They're coming in. I mean, they're, they're scared to death of Kandrak. What's wrong, boys? You scared, huh? Marcy, you need help. Come on. Come on here. Come on. No one is willing to cross the assassin. <laughs> And Ray's refusing to leave the ring. He he's looks like he wants some more competition. Well, we saw back at the Rumble the only person who could even make Kandrak entertain the thought of leaving the ring was the 400-pound Mecca Mercenary, and that was entirely due to the luck of the draw. The former Mid-Atlantic champion is back, and he has already left one body in his wake here. Oh, God, now what? The Goon Squad has got Converse. What is this? He sends Converse into the ring. It's supposed to be Converse and Exiris against the Goon Squad here. It is supposed to be Converse and Exiris against the Goons. Headbutt from Kandrak. The All-Stars are dominating the dynasty. Head 
getting into the Supergroup Supremacy Showdown that's coming on November the 2nd. Hello, somebody. We're ready for a match now. The goons are calling for the official. Let's go. Where is Xyrus? Let's go. Let's go. He puts his hands on an official. That'll cost him some money. God, I miss this. Charles Richardson's even tentative about getting in the ring. And Kendrick's gone. So, you know, Converse is by himself in this thing. You know, it's really strange that Xyrus is not here. Uh, and it looks like the... Well, I guess the match is officially underway. It's going to be a handicap match, it appears, as Rick Converse squaring off against the most dangerous tag team in the Mid-Atlantic in the Goon Squad. Yeah, we've talked a lot about tag teams tonight. But like you said, there may be no more dangerous tag team in the Goon Squad. And I, I, we need to get some word if there's if there's more bodies sprawled out in the back or what. I mean, like you said earlier, it's supposed to be Xyrus and Converse. I don't know, Xyrus may be laid out in the, in the dressing room somewhere. I'd... Cover. Well, Converse is clearly is starting this thing from a big handicap. You know, taking on the Goon Squad in a tag team match is hard enough, but when you're by yourself, it's going to be an uphill battle for Converse. But if anyone can do it, it is the, the franchise, if you will, the marquee player, Rick Converse. But he's, he's in big trouble right now. And the goons are toying with him. You don't want to toy with Rick Converse. Well, the goons are standing tall here. Converse is still kicking out. He's still got heart and guts. Well, that's one thing Converse has never been short on his heart. And guts, you know, you, you don't become the Mid-Atlantic champion multiple times by, by standing on the street corner waiting for the bus. He's got an uphill climb, though, as you said. You definitely got to wonder what happened to the dynasty here just weeks ago. Cyrus vowed that they would be here two weeks, four weeks, six weeks from now. The dynasty has, has made a mission to make every single shot and take out the All-Stars, but it certainly looks like the All-Stars have got the advantage right now. It's two on one on Converse. Oh God, Eaton is so intense. He's got a mean streak a while, a mile long. Tag, Jeff Charles Richardson is gonna allow it. The crowd here has really been silenced. It's almost like they're watching the demise of their hero. Fires away here. The converse is not done yet. Oh, he's got both of them. That's what he's going to have to do here. And out of instinct, it was almost like he was going toward his corner. He saw no one was there, so he he had to uh, you know turn around and, and refocus. And now he's teeing off on Eaton. He is measuring Wilkins. Wilkins goes down from another big shot. Nice clothesline by Rick Converse. Another one. And the All-Stars are reeling at this point. Converse making a, making a comeback. Nice rush, side rush and leg sweep, a la Brad Armstrong. And it looks like, oh. Sky high from Converse. I thought Wilkins was going to sneak one in there. Converse has been handicapped literally from the very start of this matchup. There goes Eaton. Well, this is the best chance that Converse has had so far. And he looks like he's firing up. Oh, and he's calling for the Richter scale. He's got Wilkins isolated. I wouldn't wait on him. I would go right for him. Wilkins making his way up. Here he goes. He's got him. He's, he's trying, trying, he's to, trying to hook it. He can't quite get it, it looked like. Well, oh, oh my dang God. bang. The knees between the shoulder blades. That could be a cover from Wilkins. And the Goon Squad defeat the Dynasty. More accurately, they defeat the captain of the Dynasty. Again, you know, you wonder what, what kind of message this is going to send. The leader of the Dynasty now laid out by the All-Stars. The Goon Squad! And Eaton is calling for the mic. These two teams will go at it in two weeks. 
What kind of shape is Converse going to be in in two weeks after this beating? Brad Attitude and Steve Green were never scheduled to wrestle until the second. Told you those boys didn't have me back, didn't they? Oh, my partner's here. Where's yours, Rick? Right huh? right there. I ain't done that yet, huh? That's rough. Well fluffed. Hey, come on. Okay. November 2nd, 4 on 4. Dynasty versus All Star. If the rest of the members of the Dynasty. Got what it takes to show up if you know what I mean. Oh, wait a minute, I almost forgot. Hey, I know where his part is at. What's this? Girl left the lane on the floor. What's this tape on? Oh, yeah. What's this the All-Stars are taking credit for the absence of Exirus. All of the dynasty will meet all the All-Stars two weeks from tonight.